Well, we're going back with some more thrift store finds from the bargain bin. Starting off with the VHS, we have Pokemon Mewtwo Returns. Some Bear in the Big Blue House. A couple of volumes of the best of The Simpsons. We have Bart the General and Moaning Lisa, as well as the Crepes of Wrath and Krusty Gets Busted. A few of the TV Teddy video series versions of the Berenstain Bears, the Teddy Ruxpin. Dog City, much ado about Mad Dog. Some classic cartoons with Aladdin and Friends. Then we have National Lampoon's Class Reunion. The Three Bears. Uh, this grab because of a Red Letter Media. Be cool about fire safety. Really funny to see whenever I find something from one of their like best of the worst episodes or anything. It's always really great to just run across in the bins randomly. I haven't run across something like Rem Lazar or anything that iconic, but that's still good. Uh, we have some kids' songs, A Day at Old McDonald's Farm. And Jonay Bartels, Simply Magic. The Iron Giant, wanted to grab that because I always see the Iron Giant VHS tape in the clamshell. 99% of the time, almost never run into just the, the cardboard sleeve for some reason. Uh, and then an older copy of Gremlins. Gremlins 1 and 2 are always worth grabbing if they're older releases on VHS. Some Yu-Gi-Oh! My little brother, I remember, was really into Yu-Gi-Oh! back when that was coming out. I uh, go through a bunch of the books, and we have some more DVDs and things like that. A couple of cookbooks. Sometimes I, I grab them if there's something interesting. This pizza cookbook. Then we have a... From the early 80s, the Philadelphia Eagles winning recipes. Splintered, The Iron Trader, a whole bunch of books, a mix of The Iron Daughters as a series, and Iron Queen, mix of like Pengo type stuff, and all just a big variety, or actually a decent number of books to look through today. We have The Haunted Museum, some kids' books, An Acceptable Time, and some adult books. She with the, looks like the movie cover with uh, Ursula Andress. Uh, then we have The Orphan Master's Son, Among the Mad, some Timothy Zan, The Splintered Kingdom, a couple of Dragonlance. We have Dragons of the Lost Star, The War of Souls, Volume 2. I think chronologically, this is the last, this trilogy is the middle chapter, is the last thing I read of Dragonlance. I grew up reading a lot of Dragonlance, uh, especially in the 90s, and then kind of just stopped around early 2000s, whenever around this trilogy came out. And then we have Temple of the Dragon Slayer. These Dragonlance, uh, like young adult, or slash like kids books, that series started releasing. And a bunch of just variety of kids' books. The I Survived, Sweet Valley Twins, Dear America, a lot of American Girl doll stuff. Nice little selection of that kind of thing. And then we have Deja Dead. Some Lord of the Rings. Uh, Laura Lee. Color Purple. Charlene Harris, The Horus Killings, so a nice little variety with the books. One more stack we have Anne McCaffrey's Dinosaur Planet, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, a classic Tennessee Williams, and more kind of classic from the Bantam books and some kids books. Of that kind of stuck ill mockingbird, a lot of bestseller type things. So, nice little selection of books. Then, move into the DVDs Some of All Fears, Midnight Clear, The Prince and Me, which I don't know why this movie is, just seems like bizarrely popular, Gran Torino, Kicking and Screaming, another Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and the first Pirates movie. That's the one thing that's really. In, been interesting in a lot of the DVD pickups. There's a lot. It's occasionally you get stuff that's really rare and you get a lot of variety. And then there's always these handful that are just and have printed endless copies. The usual suspects are a handful of these movies that I just will find almost every time you go. In Love and War, 
blue streak. And we hit the gates. Spy game. This is another one. Almost every time I'll find a copy. Sometimes sealed, sometimes not. Sometimes in like a, a double feature movie pack. But there's a couple of those movies. Spy Kids 2. The Rundown. I can pretty much guarantee Charlotte's Web that I'm going to run across. There's another one. I Am Legend. That for some reason. Fred Claus. Iron Man. The first Iron Man. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Which I think this one was from a box set. Didn't really say anything else there. The Lady Killers. The uh, newer one with Tom Hanks that I never really liked as much as the, the, the older British one. Uh, we have Call of the Wilderness. Randomly two copies of Aragon. Another one thing from my brother's generation, 2009 Star Trek, Singing in the Rain. I always like finding these old snapper case uh, uh, DVDs, early DVDs, and finding them sealed is even better. Another one from that type of set, we go from my Northwest. One of the American Pie spin-off movies, A Room with a View. Hancock, and The Name of the King, one of the Uvai Bowl movies. Safe House, Superman Returns, and then we have a couple of video game finds and some music stuff for the PSP. Third Birthday, missing the manual, but at least it has the artwork and the actual game. And Greatest Hits from PS2 of The Simpsons Road Rage. One of the best crazy taxi clones, probably the best crazy taxi clone ever made. A couple of 8-track tapes. Nothing too exciting, but occasionally I'll grab some if they have interesting artwork or something that's just very uh, like well known that will do well. A few cassette tapes, some Christmas, this weird one with some kid songs that uh, my wife picked up for this Office Depot grand opening. So listen to this short tape, then follow the instructions to pick up your free gift from Office Depot. Pick up your free gift at this location, at the following location. That'll be interesting. <laughs> It's one of those kind of random things. That's shit. Some sealed fancy cat pins and some Olympic pins from Italy, 2006. Jim Neighbors. Reba McIntyre. A soundtrack from Heroes, the TV series. Some Mariah Carey. It's a High Five Christmas, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, A Lost Christmas Eve, We Are All Blessed, Rod Stewart, Don Redmond, and then this last one, we have Hiroshima, L.A. And that was it from today, kind of an odd assortment as far as, you know, typically it's the amount of DVDs, but good variety with the books, and actually found some pretty decent VHS tapes. There were a ton more there, but it was all like really common to see clamshells, that kind of stuff. So those will be fun to at least test out, and some things I don't see quite as often, stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! and that version of the Iron Giant. So pretty good morning overall.